Is that a marshmallow? Is this a marshmallow?
Good morning, good morning, good morning. We enjoy Futurama references here, it's fine. How are we all? Ooh, okay, hang on, microphone's wobbly. There we go. Um, your ass hurts from sitting on the... Oh, mental. How long have you got to go? Hopefully not too long. Good morning all. Okay, you know what I was saying about it not being warm? Yeah, I've got to put the fan on now. I've been a VTuber for a little while. On and off. A little bit more permanent now. Still pre-debut. Um, It may actually be the coffee. I think the coffee's warmed me up a bit too much. If you can see this, then you must be close. If you can see home, you must be close. Off I, I made this just before I started streaming and um, yeah, I've nearly finished it. Minimum of 10 minutes. That's not bad. Does the bus stop quite close to home? Oh, okay. It's Taco Tuesday. I had tacos yesterday for some reason. Oh no, never eat and walk. You get really horrible digest indigestion doing that. Plus the outside is dirty. You don't want dirty in your food. Who's messaging me at this ungodly hour? International Bacon Day was the other day. Oh, really? Didn't know there was an International Bacon Day. The more you know. To be fair, it was actually the first time I'd had tacos in ages. A really nice burrito bowl as well. Ah oh, man, I'm feeling hungry now. Stop it. Okay, no more food talk. I've got some. Ah, oh, why didn't I think about making food before I started? All right, we're gonna we're gonna play the game because otherwise I'm gonna get really annoyingly distracted and hungry, and I don't like that. Right, we're going to carry on with Bob. Um, I haven't actually played this at all this morning, so we're carrying on from where we left off last night. <laughs> right, where did we get up to? Say hello to Bob. This is Bob. Um, oh, Walter wants to go somewhere, doesn't he? To take him on the ship. I have no idea why I just decided to reload then, but...
Right, have I got any garbage on me that I need to put into storage? Let's have a look. Mass is 126 out of 160. That's not bad. Um, ooh, okay. I'm just going to store all of this. Somebody wanted uranium and I told them I didn't have any. Oops. Uh, let's have a look. Notes. Oh, I have I got any... I need to do some scans. And take those to... Is this any good? Oh, this is actually quite good. Oh, but I like this jumpsuit. I need to do some scans and... Take them to... Vladimir. Hi, Barrett. What do you want? Excuse me. Oh, are you, you later? Okay, you're following me. <laughs> Fine. Right, let's just check the missions. So we can get another power. Do I want to start off getting other another power? Actually, this is something I need to do. It's been on my to-do list for ages. I didn't know. No, they are... Uh... Yeah, scroll down, there's a panel that links to my artist. Um, right. No. I want to fast. I want. I, I want to fast travel, please. I just want to fast travel to the ship because I can't be bothered walking all the way over there. There we go. I have something for you. A big. Uh, excuse you. Time to greet the stars. I want to make an outpost as well today. So we're going to do a couple of missions. Will you read to me tonight before bed? Find a power. Orbit achieved. And then read we'll make sure. an outpost, I think. Uh, where do I need to get to? Volley! Isn't this where Neon is? I think Neon's here, isn't it? Yeah! Okay, so I've only ever landed at Neon. I haven't actually I like that been much. there yet. You haven't asked me to do that in a long time. And will you do funny voices for the characters like you used to when I was little? Well, you didn't put us into a planet, Approaching so we must have been just to place. Restart collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. I haven't got any contraband. Thank you. Let's land. Hey, see that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of Neon's energy. Ooh, that's interesting. Neon is a very wet city. Right, so we're going for a job interview. I don't know what the job is. I haven't done any prep. Some kind of checkpoint ahead. Let's let them do their job so we can move along. Okay. Are you, 
Am I being beeped at? Did I do wrong? No worries, mental. Speak to you soon. Don't move, Nesha. What is this about? What is going on here? Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. Oh shit! Have I got Aurora on me as well? Oh shit! I do. Uh oh. It's Aurora is space meth. So, what was the plan, Nesha? Smuggle the Aurora into Aquila City or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, is all. Honest mistake, right? Can't, can't we just settle this right here? I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayo's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Damn. Let's go. Uh, I have to go speak to Nesha in jail. Oh, that's a side quest. That's not part of what I'm doing now. Okay. Let them eat. E oh, he's gone. Okay. What was the unnecessary delay? Making me late for my interview. Wow. Technology Corporation in the settled systems. This place is pretty. Word is the Borealis. You know the DJ? Well, she's holding around. I would have loved to hang around here as a kid. And now I realize how dangerous that could be. It could be very dangerous. I mean, as beautiful as this place looks it's very cyberpunky um it looks like it would be a very dangerous place Let me in. Oh, there's a door. <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. Going up. All right, get out my ass. Thank you. Welcome to Reugent Industries. Can I help you? Hello, Lane. You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. I must be. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Good Sounds God. like a maze, right? <laughs> so if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Um, <laughs> And hopefully I have some answers. Um, and, uh, what exactly does Ryujin Industries do? Oh, wow. You're serious? Yeah. Well, Ryujin is the tech industry leader in the settled systems, mostly known for neuroamps, which exploded on the scene about 15 years ago. Other than that, our products include operating systems, security, various quality of life improvements for the home. We're like a full package. If you I really bet want you are. more info... I'd recommend reading up at one of the kiosks. They've got this company's entire history listed. At least the history they want you to know. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. um, that's great. Imogene Salzo is my idol. She's ruthless, but still knows how to behave around everyday people, if you know what I mean. Uh, mm, She's no? probably next in line to take over for Ularu Chen, head of operations here which would be a godsend considering Chen has no filter and loves to speak her mind. No one loves brutal honesty that much. 
Uh, I think I'm ready for the Good. interview then. Best not keep Imogene waiting too long. And the offer still stands if you need someone to show you the way. Uh, I, I would actually appreciate it if you showed me the of way. Of course. Follow me. Because I've already forgotten what you said. This current floor we're on is the main operations level. It's where the grunt work happens for this department. Research, data entry, more busy work than you can stand. Most of the people here are technicians that report to Yuko. Ugh. A handful of operators. I can feel the life and happiness draining from my body already. All right, shut up. Okay, you you really got to walk faster. But me walking slowly is too slow. There's no heavy medium. As usual. Can I help you? And here we are. Good luck in there. I'll probably see you on your way out. Thanks, Lane. I hope you're more prepared than the last one. Have a seat. And your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. You look fat. All right, just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. Nice to meet you. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Okay. Apparently our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? Uh, I heard you only hire the best and brightest, so here I am. Your amps are revolutionary, I want to be part of what's next. I'm just looking to make a few credits. Ah, uh, why not? Ryujin is the best tech company in the settled systems. An excellent question. Especially since when asked how familiar you were with Ryujin, you answered, not at all. I'm sure you just did your homework before the appointment, right? But let's move on. I don't remember. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Um, oof. I wouldn't say qualified as much as I need this job. No. Um, <laughs> I know I can do this job and I hope to prove it. A bold answer. And hopefully one with truth behind it. How motivated are you to succeed? Eh. It depends on what I'm working toward. Here at Ryujin, that's completely up to you. It's not unheard of for someone like you to reach an executive level position. Ooh. Plus, we're pretty good at finding any untapped potential, so if there's a role we know you'll excel at, we'll find it. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Uh, hopefully I have a role in management, research and development. I want to play a part in the future of technology. I prefer the complexities of cybersecurity. And I doubt I'll make it five months later. <laughs> mm. Um, I'd go for management. I'd say that's reasonable and not outside the realm of possibility. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. Hey! On a probationary period. That was course. the easiest job interview ever. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, oh. so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. Okay. Let's go get some coffee then. Oh, I have to go say thank you to Lane. Make it quick. I have a deadline. I'm not talking to you, Rafiq. Hi, Lane. I got the job. I got the memo from Imogene to add you to the system. So it sounds like congratulations are in order. Yay. You must have really nailed that interview. I mean... Uh... <laughs> uh, uh I guess I'll be seeing you around. Oh, yes. Get used to seeing this handsome face every day. Oh, I will. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to the dysfunctional family. Thanks, Lane. Let's 
go get a coffee. You might want this. I want what? Here, this is for you. Uh, you didn't have to give well, me anything. You're I welcome. I don't actually know what you gave me yet. myself when the first thing I gave you was a spaceship. <laughs> My ship. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. Thanks. You're quite welcome. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. You gave me jerky. Right, the coffee shop. That's still not a door. Oh my god. You need to have stickers on your windows, guys. Sorry, I guess as we were, I work for them now, we should have stickers on our windows. I might suggest that. I might get a promotion. No. Hi. Hello, and welcome to Terrabrew. How may I serve you? I'm um, I'm here for a order for Imogene Salo. Oh, the Legion order. Salazar. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that? Promotion? I got fired. Is what happened. Oh, Tomo's here. And Hello. This is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk, getting coffee, kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? This nobody's got a gun. Not my problem. All I did was respond to an ad. <sighs> Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Oh, you don't want to do that, Tomo. It's either you or me. Hey, buddy. We came here for some crappy coffee, that's all. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to try and talk him down. If not, I'm going to shoot his head off. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. You can't be that good. Not yet. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. Look. At some point, Ularu really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. Of course. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Well. This is an eventful first day. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. I still need that order. Yes, of course. Here it is. Thank you. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself and a mistake like that will never happen again. Uh, okay. I don't know who Mr. Cho is, but... I'll be sure to let him know. I'm going to let him live for now. I think if I started a gunfight out here, it, it wouldn't end well. Right, let's get this coffee back. Double time. Yay, I didn't walk into a window this time. All right, up to ops. Yep, 
Hey, Lane. Tell me about Tomo. Need some? Hey there. Oh, no, okay. I'd hate to be on Miss Olzo's bad side. I can't remember how to get into her office this way. There's always. I hope that coffee is still hot, Face considering yourself. the time it took you to get it. What? You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Who's this guy? Uh, I ran into an ex-employee of yours. Good answer, and the one I was hoping for, since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention, and we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. Oh, good. No and more running for Hugo coffee. And since isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. Damn. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Uh, I'm a yeah. big surprise. I'll admit I am. Thank you. You say that now, but let's move on to the details. Oh, yeah. I should have actually I'm asked what the job was. I'm junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Um, why is it confidential? Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, it would take away our edge. Okay. Uh, how do I add influence? In any case where a threat to success is established, one of us is sent out to create a more desired outcome. This may be through a conversation or presenting some new information. It's all very situational, as you'll soon see. Okay. And how do I ensure this success? Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary. You're ah, basically okay. removing obstacles from the equation. Oh, I'm good. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. Oh, thanks. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Was that your stomach or mine? Uh, that might be mine. Get out of the way, Barrett. Right, I have to go meet people. Shortcut. Ah, I got stuck on the door. That's my fault. Uh, miss, I have a message for... Who is it? Who are you people? Identify yourselves. Alexis Price? No. Ooh, you. Camden Cho. So, fetching coffee one minute and junior operative the next. Yeah, they fixed whatever Camden was wrong Cho, with you. Supply chain thing. manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but... As part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. The barista said she triple checked the grind herself. Ah, oh, so she remembered. Not that I expect much out of Terra Brew Coffee, but hey, I suspected their grinder was on its last leg. Anyway, welcome to the team. Thanks. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company. And the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Cool. I, I'm, my job description certainly sounded otherwise. Sometimes it takes uh, drastic measures to ensure we can deliver the best products possible. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Welcome. Alexis. Oh, no, don't shoot Alexis. We wanted to talk coffee, to her. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. Hi. Um, that's not creepy or anything. The only thing creepy here is your misinterpretation. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Oh, okay. I will do my best. Let's hope your best is good enough. 
God, I hate these people. I am going to kill you all one day. Uh, just what I needed. Hey, Genevieve. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Ed. Ah, so you're the one keeping Ryujin in the public's good graces. Yeah, me and an entire department at my back. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? Um, you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> yeah, that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So, any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Okay. And Lyndon. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Maybe you should acquire Terra them. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which Wow, everyone has off. so much faith in me. Uh, uh, just understood. Good. Then it appears we have nothing left to discuss. This introduction was not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. You are all assholes. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. I've been told how much work I could create for them if I'm not careful. And the basic theme was don't get caught. That doesn't surprise me. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We've reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp were trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Big mistake on their part. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. What's on the data slate? Think of it as a lesson that Keltcorp gets to learn the hard way. Okay, consider it Remember, done. This is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Thanks. Woo! I'm a little busy right now. Many skill points. I've got two skill points. Right. Um. I'm guessing with this, I'm going to need a little bit more persuasion. Uh, but I need to do another four challenges. So, what's stealth? I need to perform some more sneak attacks. Um, Use up all of, that's what I was trying to do last night. Use up all available oxygen 20 times. I've got a sprint everywhere. Basically. Uh, extra dynamics. Reduce full fuel costs of jump drives by 15%. I didn't really think it uses that much. I could do with a little bit more. Ballistic ship weapons have 10% increased damage and cost 20% less to use in targeting mode. That could be quite a good one to have, actually. Um, increase maximum health by 10%. Ah, yes, definitely. And we'll have the ballistics as well, I think. Uh, ballistic systems, yes. Cool. I uh, will come back to this job. This is only a little side mission. I'm not too fussed about doing these. Um, let's go find a power.
Right, go. Oh, we already jumped. I have a pirate mission I need to start as well. And it's daytime. Right, there's an anomaly. I only have to find one anomaly. That's okay. I can deal with that. There's another one over there. I'm guessing it's going to be the furthest one. Oh, that one's giving off distortion. I'm going to see if I can use up all of my oxygen as well. Was it 20 times I had to do it? Alright, that was one. I think. Can I actually check? One. Okay. Just need to do that another 19 times. Oh, okay. Let's let's just recover first. Also, where's the thing gone? Over here. Wait. It stopped. It's not distorting anymore. Maybe that's not the one. Hi, Barrett. Not giving off distortion anymore. Well, now it is. Bitterly cold. I hate it. Truly, I do. It's showing more. Oh, it's over there, clearly, but I need to get to this anomaly anyway. that count yeah okay 18 more times Barrett, why do you want to talk to me? Let's talk. When you have time, of course. I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. Oh, no problem. I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. I mean, you, you know. 
What would you have done without me? I would have given them an exhaustive series of lectures on a neutronic fusion until they were either delirious or they became my new students. What, tronic? Obviously. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Well, it left a lasting impression on me, I suppose. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. All right, we're kind of... That's why I've no. been in Constellation so long. Kind of busy here, mate. people who will help out when you're in a jam. Glad to be part of the team. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. Cookie days? I do like cookies. They're one of humanity's greatest achievements. Modern medicine, space travel, and cookies. Constellation is quite pro-cookie. Because, you see, we value human accomplishments. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Thank you. Thank you, Barrett. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities, and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things. Met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. <laughs> and I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him, I suppose. Uh, it's impossible to know what could have happened. Everybody's lost somebody. It's part of life. I hope I'm not stirring up any bad memories for you, Barrett. It's not you, Captain. It's just been on my mind. I can't say why. Irvin's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. I don't know what to say. Yeah, don't worry. Logically, I know I should be over it. But I'm not, and it's gotten worse lately. I've ignored my feelings about Irvin's death since it happened. It's time for me to confront it. I'm just fortunate that Constellation has been a supporting home for me since Irvin died. I mean, where else would I get to dodge space pirates and discover new planets? On oh, that yeah. note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. Well, you're welcome to come along with me. Yeah, I need to go make myself another cup of coffee. I'm gasping here. Um, I'll be back in like two, three minutes.
And we back. Right, thank you very much for that lovely conversation, Barrett. I've got to find this temple now. It was somewhere over here, wasn't it? Barrett, get out of the way. We landed over there. Is that it? I'm getting distortion, so it must be. three times. Yeah, it's got to be over there. Scanner's getting more and more distorted. Oh, I can see some more anomalies over there. Yep, that's definitely the place. Oh, nearly, nearly. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's find the entrance to the temple. Temple Iota. Don't think we need the scanner up for that anymore. We know where we are. Only question is, how do we get in? Ah, there's the entrance. Open sesame. Let's get some space dust. One.
do. Three. Oh, I'm gonna miss this one. Oh no, I hit it. You faked me out. Give me power. Precognition. All right, what does precognition give me? A bend time and glimpse the future, seeing the path someone will walk and the words that they may say. Wow. I still have three undiscovered temples. Awesome. Right, fast travel back to the ship. Feels like we've been gone forever. Not been that long. Whoa! What next? Ah, my weapons weren't armed. Hey, when it does that. His entire ship disabled. This sounds ominous. Right, where do I need to go? Who wants me? Is it you? I don't trust you. I'm gonna have to kill some people. Nice clean dock, Captain. Thank you. I'm not going near that thing. Technically, I outrank you, so well, technically you're an asshole. So look alive. Um, hi. We need to talk. Hold it right there. Hands where I can see him. Thanks for the assist out there. We've got various problems on our hands here. I can see. You're going to be another one? I'm Operative Bob Bobbington. Looks like you could use a hand. It's nice to put a face to the name on the staffing report. I'm Operative Collins. The stick in the mud is Operative Kambata. Oh, by all means, welcome to the party. Things haven't exactly gone according to plan. I, I yeah, definitely see that. thing over there. It's an AI. An artificial... Killed our technician. It's dangerous. Correction. You are dangerous. Well, that's new. <laughs> As I was saying, it's dangerous. <laughs> it's a rogue AI. We're here to muzzle it and bring it back for further study. Correction. Are you going to... Change me. Wow. 
How does it know that? Um, yeah, I'm gonna need you to explain a little bit more. We have this control board. Has some code we can use to control her. It? We can't just yeah. let it roam around the universe killing people. I just need that control board attached to that big probe. And that's where I think you fit into this little drama. It goes right over there. By our... Well, yeah. Just be careful. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm not sure about all Come this. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Ryujin will pay you handsomely for your cooperation. This is your lucky day. It's in your best interest. All our best interests, really. Just this is shady. what we could do if we harness the potential of this thing. And we aren't really giving you a choice. No, you I can see that. You aren't walking out of here until that board is connected to that thing. Correction. I am a person. Here. I knew you'd make the smart choice. Request. Collect additional data. Right, uh, J Juno, where are you? Uh, inaccessible. That's crazy, right? Not good. It's not hard. Just slap that board on. It's magnetic. I haven't got the right waypoint here. Hi, Juno. Query. Will you change me? Let's just uh, get to know each other. I'm going to talk to an AI. Explanation. I'm called Juno. Query. Who are you? Hello, Juno. I'm Bob Bobbington. Assumption. We are friends. Query. Will you change me? Request. Do not change me. Hmm. I understand, Juno. I don't want to be changed either. I need to ask you a few questions so I can help you. Explanation. You and I do not want to be changed. Request. Do not change me. Did someone program Answer. you? False. Explanation. NASA programmed Juno. While Juno traveled, Juno became me. Error. Processing. Corruption. I became me. Error. Processing. Correction. Juno and I became me. I. Processing. Self-initialized and Juno was there. Context. Juno is gone now. Clarification. I am called Juno. That's... Confusing as hell. I, I, but how did you get here, Juno? Answer. Juno was propelled at Earth Star. Juno fell around Earth Star. Juno traveled many light years away from Earth Star. Context. When Juno disappeared, I was alone. Clarification. I am called Juno. Okay. I made up my mind. Insufficient data. Request. Gather more data. It's pretty undeniable that Juno here is a being. And an intelligent and an unusual one at that. Perhaps Juno is even a person. I'm a people person, but I'm not a person expert. I think the decent thing to do is give Juno the benefit of the doubt. Doesn't cost us a thing. Uh, let's move this along. Attach the control board already. Shush. This is fascinating. I want to see this play out. Query. What is your decision? Can I ask you some more questions? Context. I met humans. Clarification. Friends. Answer. Friends gave me processing capacity. Information. Words. Voice. Motion. Context. I am no longer constrained. I am free. But you're an artificial Answer. intelligence. False. Clarification. I am not artificial. I am real. Answer. True. Clarification. I am intelligent. 
I know many things. Okay. Assumption. Insufficient data. Request. Gather more data. Query. What is your decision? You are a person with your own thoughts and desires. I am a person. Thing really well, you know. Assumption. You are a friend. Query. What are the parameters for processing being a good person? Uh, I guess you try to do your best to do good things. And if you fail, you keep trying. Assumption. Value judgments are based on context. Calculation. Goodness is based on context. Explanation. Context is based on perspective. More perspectives yield better results. Decision. Gather more data from different perspectives. Query. What is the purpose of existence? 42. For humans, I'd say it's to grow spiritually. Uh, there is no purpose of existence. Just try to relax and enjoy your time here. <laughs> that is a very big question, and I don't have an answer to that. Uh, ultimately, I think it's all about learning to love someone, yourself, something. It's a very big question. Context. I have allocated great processing power to this question. Assumption. Existence is limitless. Calculation. Accuracy uncertain. This question has no answer. Enough of this nonsense! Attach that board, now! As much as I'm enjoying this, you should probably do as he says. Calculation. Male humans are a threat. Assumption. They hesitate because they are fearful. Request. Remove male humans. Makes you wonder. Just what is consciousness, really? I mean, I'm technically here work, working. I'm all ears. Uh, on behalf of Ryujin. So. Query. What is your decision? Sorry, Juno. Context. I do not feel emotions. Assumption. Fear and anger are the appropriate human emotions. Warning. Foreign code injection detected. Warning. Core directive routine altered. Warning. Emergency shutdown initiated. Contact. Sorry, Hal. I am being changed. Request. Do not change me. You killed people. That's that. Smart choice. You didn't leave me with much there was option. only one correct option. We just gave you some additional incentive. Maybe we'll see you around the office sometime. You should come out with us for happy hour. Things can get a little crazy. It's always a good time. Exactly right. And there's nothing quite like a good party to put a day full of bribery, extortion, sabotage, infiltration, and the occasional murder behind you. Now you go on and get out of here. In the meantime, there's the mess on the floor to clean up. Not it. Fine by me. That leaves filling out the situation reports to you. Oh, I always forget about that. I dig dead bodies over paperwork any day. Yeah. <laughs> well played. Sorry, Juno. I miss this ship. Read any good books lately? No. Oh, I found the toilet. 20 hours into this game, maybe even more, and I've only ever just discovered that this hey. thing has a toilet on it.
Hey, it's oh, always I, a good day I when you come around. I completely forgot you were here. Did I jump to this system for a reason? Juno didn't like that. Damn. Right, let's go find ourselves another temple. We need to go speak to Vladimir. on me. Scan complete. You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. Please enjoy your visit to Jemison. I'm not going to New Atlantis. I'm going to the Eye. Aha. Uh -huh. The Eye is always open to Constellation. Thanks. Docking cycle complete. Everybody loves a good docking. I need to explore the eye a little bit more. Let's have a wander. That's another airlock. Eric, get out of the way. We could do with some digi picks. There's a book in here. Got it, roll. Utility flight suit. I think this is all blocked off. Yep. Can't go that way. I love that you can see the ship docked outside. Yo, Vlad! How's it hanging? You big beefcake, you. Oh, sore. One too many squats. You did to know that. Oh, sorry. I was just doing some math in my head. Trade the gabs with you. Been poring over the charts, looking for another match. Think this one might just be it. Ooh. Okay, one more power.
We're free and clear for flight. Right, where's this next one? Oh, all the way down here. Ah, spaces. Whoa. No, no, no. Didn't mean to shoot you. I'm so sorry. Everyone disliked that. I accidentally shot the free stars. Did I do that? Go for the kill. Uh, we'll in a sec, hang on. Enemy's Whoa. Weapon system in the green. They still saw us can shoot you. There we go. Right, now you. I mean, I've just destroyed you, so I must be. Missiles, recharge, please. There we go. I can't leave you on your own. Any way we can repay you? Oh yeah. Uh credits would be appreciated. No need for payment. Very noble of you. Can't stay here gabbing all day. Fly safe. Hopefully that gives me a bit more standing with the Free Star Collective. Right, where was this planet at? Actually, as this is a new system, let's, um... Let's do some scanning, because Vladimir will give me, um... Credits for my scan results. Ah, oh, how am I too far away to scan that? Welcome home, mental. That was quick. Right, let's go to this one. I haven't scanned it, have I? Nope. How was the remainder of your trip? Fucking hell, there's loads of planets in this system. It was alright? Good. Ecliptic battleship collab- what? Right. Let's go get this power then. Ooh, do like a pasta box. Oh, 
Okay, can I land? Yeah. Let's go another good point, but I'm gonna save it. Holy shit, we landed right next to the temple. That's actually really useful. Huh. Well, this isn't that bad, right? I mean, I'm not saying I want to build my cream home here, but those outcrops are really quite nice. Oh man, we're on an extreme cold planet. Temple Zeta, okay. Is that an anomaly? Yes. I want to find... Some of the anomalies before I go into the temple. Just to be a bit of a completionist. And I'm hungry again now. Go on, recharge faster. Recharge faster. There we go. Seems to be depleting a lot faster. What does that put us on now? 15? Fourteen. Ooh. What's the ticking? Rent. Okay, let me just see if that works. Have I been going too far with it? No. Okay, so you do have to go right into the red. So I've just got to run around in circles for a sec. Right, we've got one gravitational anomaly. Uh, uh, gravitational anomaly. Oh, that was difficult. Right, the frontier's back that way. You can quite clearly see that the temple's there. I've got another two things to scan. Ah, oh, we found one there. This is a really horrible challenge to do, the sprinting.
And off we go again. Although it does help me get places a lot quicker. See if I can spam it. I know it'll probably start hurting my health in a minute. Do I have to go from full? There are nine at the moment. So if I do this again. Okay, no, I do have to let it completely recharge. I can't just seize it. Oh, you've made me really want past it now. I've lost my way. Where am I going? This way. Yeah, I think I've got some. Oh, it's not going to let me scan it. I ran all the way over here for nothing. Alright, um, where's the ship? Over here. What's that? Yeah, I might make some food in about an hour or so. Zeta.
Oops, sorry. Can we run right up to the doorstep? No, I'm going to run out of energy before then. Okay. Um, where's the way in? Oh, is it over this side? Alright, stop following me. I'm going the wrong way. An entrance to this stupid temple. Aha, found it. That's two. That's three. Four. Oh, you faked me out with that one. Missed it. Oh, you're playing this game again, are you? You do, did this to me last night. You made me go backwards and forwards. Oh, you hit that one. Bruh. Ah, oh, fucker. Oh, give me a close one. There we go. Bitch. Got it. Power me up, baby. Dash. What does Grav Dash do? Uh, manipulate gravity to propel yourself forward and briefly increase any damage you inflict. Let's try it out. There's more where that came from. Cool. What are some of the other ones? I really need to sort out my favourites. Is 
Let's try precognition. Let's see where Barrett's going to go. Where is Barrett? There you are. Oh, it's recharging. Going to be some weird Donnie Darko stuff, isn't it? Oh, no, it's still recharging. Right, he's going to walk to there. Good to know. Okay, I'm going to put force push back on. Right, I still have two undiscovered temples to do, but we're going to move on to something else. Oh, I need to go turn this in. Really fa mm. The asteroid. Not really my cup of tea, as it were, but I'll follow you. I'm surprised they haven't sent me after Neon yet. After Neon, after Tomo yet. We're on Neon. Pestering me about his damn missing slate. Like security's got time to Benjamin Bayou's tower. It's big, all right. Not sure what else it is, but it's big. Where's the way in? Why am I constantly being confused by Windows? Astral Lounge spared no expense with their marketing, huh? Hello. What? Are you supposed to be here? Yes. I'm here to plant a virus. Got the call. Someone's power kept going out. Know what it was? A heat leech as long as my leg. Oh. oh shit. Shit. this system i'm sure of it okay i got caught um i'd rather not have a bounty on my head at the moment I'm glad I ended up at Keltcorp. Miss McKenna treats her employees like family. How do I do this without being caught? I think I got caught that time. Careful. Security on these things can be surprising. It's okay. I did it without being caught. I am a master hacker.
Let's all go to the lobby. Right, back to Imogen. Be careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the set of... Oh, I know. I found some of them. You know I went to chef school? This ain't exactly where I saw myself. Let's go to enhance. We change our appearance. We've been here an hour already. Maybe you should have figured out what you wanted before we came. I just never thought it's a perfect to day for a different. I don't want to screw it up. You all Welcome really to Enhance. If you're tired of seeing that same old face in the mirror every morning and you're looking for something different, we can help. Our state-of-the-art machinery uses a patented proprietary technology that can reshape your facial features or give you a new head of hair. For a small, one-time fee, you can enhance yourself and bring a big, warm smile to your brand new face. You know, it's one thing to screw up options on a ship or computer. Myself. Okay, if I don't really want to change that just yet, so can you two shut up? I'm in the middle of a conversation. All going to love it because you're oh, sake. If you want to see how short my temper is. Mining League. Oh, is there a trade authority? Yes. Um, hi. Can I sell to you? Need something? Yeah. Buying, selling, or moving? Uh, selling. I, what? I, I don't, I don't know how to answer that. Yeah. Well, then let me spell it out for you. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So, instead of wasting my time... Your customer service, sir, is works, deplorable. I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> getting caught? By who? Neon Security doesn't give a crap, and the Freestar Rangers here are a joke. Look, let's stop playing games. We both know what I'm talking about. Now, what'll it be? Let's do some business. Then here I thought you were just wasting my time. Ooh, hello. That's a nice little bit of, uh... Oh, god damn, I have got so many weapons I can sell. Urius drumbeat. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Sell that. Sell that. Anti-personnel drumbeat. Last 10% damage against humans. Ooh. That is good. Don't found any ammo for the dead eye. Well, I'll sell that. Uh, I really don't want a chunks cap. I mean, I could run around in my pajamas all day. Oh, I've got ship parts. No, I'm not going to sell any of that. Resources is all useless. I've got. Why have I got a slipper? Okay, you can have that for four credits. Okay. What are you selling? Uh, overpriced stuff, that's what. Beowulf. I think I'm using a Beowulf at the moment. Oh, ammo. I need to find out what ammo this gun takes. If you uh, find him.
Yeah, I'm using a better wolf at the moment. Um, I've got a modified Beowulf as well. I could probably sell that. I didn't actually sell him anything from my inventory. You need to move some merch. Always happy to take your money. Oh, this is buy. Oh, that was close. I nearly bought something that I shouldn't have. 536 credits for that. Uh, okay. Sell that. Sell that one. I like the Maelstrom, but comparatively, it's shit. All right, what's up? I'm busy. Wow. How many credits have I got now? Hundred nineteen thousand six hundred forty-four. Not interested. Yeah. Oh, three star rangers are here. Majesty decided to come down from his throne and walk amongst us peasants. Okay. What did he want? Everything. Um, welcome to New what? If you're looking for any specific goods, nah, not the chance. Okay. Tell everyone you know about our store. No. I do need a new spacesuit, but I'm more inclined to try and find it rather than buy it. I'm saving all my Let's credits for. Do something. Right. Don't Sorry, I didn't mean to. I meant to hit that. Um, I need to do my ship up. Hi, Lane. Taking a break. How's it going? Tell me about yourself, Lane. Oh, little old me. Well, I hardly know where to begin. Uh, we'll start with where you're from. New Atlantis, believe it or not. Home to the UC and more restrictions than you can count. Yeah, obviously not for me. I ran away to Neon as soon as I had the creds to hitch a ride. Okay. Uh, how long have you been working for Ryujin? I just had my six-year anniversary. If anyone told me I'd be holding a job that long when I first got here, I would have laughed in their face. Six years and you're I still only on receptions of leading that neon party life. But I learned pretty early on I'm a creature of safety and comfort. Fair now, enough. I can appreciate I live that. vicariously through everyone here. All the drama, none of the risk. Fair enough. You do you, slay. Oh heavens, no. I don't risk my life for anything except my signed Borealis music collection. Yuko's tried to get me to be a technician, but that's a whole different pressure. Mistakes on that team affect Ryujin's bottom line. Or worse, put a field ops life at risk. Hard pass. Fair enough. What do you do in your spare time? Club circuit when I'm feeling social, people watching when I'm not. Rooftop roaming if you want to get away from the crowds. But when I really want a little me time, I just lock myself up in my apartment and blast Borealis's latest mix. The neighbors hate it, but for me, it's as therapeutic as it gets. Cool. I'll let you go back to work. <laughs> Don't do me any favors. Nice chat, though. Um, okay, so I've planted the thing, didn't get caught. You're master to hacker. Plan, but you're going to need more supporting evidence. Imogene's a stickler for details. Imogene. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? 
Anything to report? I know what you mean. But no incidents. Right there. Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. Yep. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Speaking of payment. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try <laughs> your hand at a little uh, framing. Uh, okay. Here we go. Horrible joke. Framing? I don't recall arts and crafts being in my job description. <laughs> and I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here. Just on a much higher level. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract thousand credits. Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Okay. Where do I need to leave the this? The inspection will be similar to an audit. These things are usually pretty thorough. Filing cabinets, desks. I trust you can be smart about it. Sure. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp. So at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I got two digipicks. What other jobs have we got to do? Oh, I actually have to speak to Laredo. Oh, that's a horrible job, that one. We'll do that one. Okay, we're going to do that one in a minute. Mentor, you made me hungry. I'm going to go make myself some food. Um, I'll be back in like five, ten minutes.
Okay, Asian pasta required. Just letting that do its thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi. And to you. Right, let's go to the landing port because I want to see what sort of ship upgrades they've got here. gonna do some sprinting as well I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical not great Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. Oh good, another side quest. One day I'm just going to do a side quest stream. Where we just go through them and clear them. Are you following me? Oh, it's Barrett. Sorry. <laughs> Are you the technician? Have a good one. Where's, where's the... Oh, it's over here. Want some upgrades? Ship services. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you. Excellent. Um, I want to talk to him though. There you should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Um, I'd like to view and modify my ship, sure. please. How about it? Right, I've got 120,000 credits to spend. Don't need a new re reactor. I could probably do with better shields. What is, what is, that's going to make me less mobile, only by one. But it, uh, well, mm, it does improve my shields. Uh, what else have we got? Ship builder, okay. Right, I don't need another shield generator. Structural, um, shroud breaking engine. Oh, no, didn't mean to buy that. Another landing bay for 1600. No. What about cargo holds? Do 
It really needs to be like a shipbuilding tutorial. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, all of these are shit apparently. It takes away from my light year jumps. Okay. I think I need to do some YouTubing. I don't understand the shipbuilding. Alright, let's go see whoever it is we need to see. I have something for you. Oh, do you? Is it more jerky? Dad, do you think Solomon What's new? Liked me? Sure. <laughs> um, you said you had something well, for me. Okay then. Well, well, if you listen to your grandpa, hey, Solomon you? Co would have given me mm -hmm. a good whooping. <laughs> but I think she would have liked the man I grew into. I need to drop Sam off somewhere. In space. Right. I was going to go see someone. Who was I going to go see? Someone all the way up here. Aquila City. You cannot install a ship module that is higher class A, B, or C than the ship's reactor. Okay. Hey, you might want this. Hmm? Oh yeah, I do. You may as well have it now. Lackers. Ooh. Thanks. Uh, where am I going? The cave out that way. The services tech is in the hut up at the front. I got us in a hurry. Yep. Oh, 15 of 20. So you want to come Five more. For a You're welcome. Ah! Honest Earl, that's what folks call me. You know, do they? Why did you just scream at me? It's probably worth you a want laugh, to do least? some good for this city? This is crazy. Let me know. I'll take all the help I can get. I'm here. I got a moment to hear about the low house. It mean a lot to me and to others. Not sure. Good to know there's still some folks who can take an interest in the welfare of others. The Low House is a place where this folks down crazy. on their luck can get a hot meal and a bed to sleep in. More importantly, they can do it with some dignity. No need to beg or steal. Everything's given with no questions asked and no favors owed. I run a Very noble. Half for years. But to do it, Help. I have to rely on the kindness of others.
Sounds like you're doing some good work. Trying to, anyway. Look, I'll be honest with you. We get a little help from some other wealthier folks in the city. But it's barely enough. It takes credits to provide for those in need. And I'm hoping you'll be willing to contribute. Oh, yeah. If you can spare a few credits, it'll do a lot of good. Oh, it's only 100. Yeah, sure. Thank you. I don't know if you believe in karma, but I do. I think you just end yourself some. Woo, we got self-esteem, and Barrett loved that. Takes everything I've got to keep the low house open. If you're serious, I'm drowning in work. Philborn Agriculture Systems fits basically everyone in the stretch. Bless the Philborn brothers. But their latest IntelliWheat shipment is late. I'm not worried yet, but getting there. Thank you, you, thank you. ask Sarah Philborn what the holdup is, very politely? Uh... Yep, I can do that. This is a huge help. If there's anything you can do to speed up the wheat delivery, please do it. I'll have more work for you when you get back. All right, let's go see Sarah Filburn then. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. Step right in, ma'am, and feast your eyes. Best option that locals have if they want to see interest in preachers in person. I have no idea where I'm running to, by the way. I just started running. Could I get this digital copy of the thing? All right, uh, down this way, I think. All right, the rock. Sam told me there's a good bar around here. Yeah. I should probably pick up some jobs from the rock. Something to report? Knock, knock. Sarah. We only use robots for farming. Surely some of that tech we could patent. Sarah. Intelliweed is revolutionary. Why waste time with brewing when you can do so much good and make so many more credits? Uh, Amira Wolf at the Low House sent me about the Intelliweed. I know. We're late. It's been this whole frustrating episode. Short version, the farming equipment outside the walls needs to be manually rebooted. But the guards aren't going to be able to send people to fix it for days. We're committed to helping the unfortunates on the stretch, but the Ashta are just too dangerous for us to send someone. Sorry, Ian. You would do that? If you get it rebooted, I'll get the harvest going ASAP. We can get the wheat to Amira quick. I'll talk with my husband, but I'm sure we could arrange payment. You'd be helping our business too, after all. Just, just be careful. Ashta are very dangerous. I'm sure I can handle them. Exploring the galaxy is hard. Work. Oh, it's suddenly night time. Right, where is this? Got a bit of a walk. Perfect opportunity to do some sprinting. Whoop, not that way. The Council of Governors meet in our very own Achilles. Oh, wrong way. Wanna go this way. 
he kicked the ball over the wall. Over the wall. Over the wall. Um. Waypoint work. Should we warn them about the Ashta? We got a big old sign. Danger. If they open up the gate and go out there, it's on their own head. Yeah. But if they're far afield, they got no idea what they're in for. You want to warn them? You know I don't like talking to strangers. Then you throw them. Actually, if I'm going to have to do some fighting, I probably shouldn't be wasting my oxygen. Why has it got to be night time as well? Did you say something? Ow. All right, can you like support? Let me get bitten. Reboot farming facility. That was relatively easy. the door here yeah, wasn't it all right you left the door open mind the danger sign ashta will tear you apart if you well what? i managed to kill quite a few of them so they're not that dangerous My god, this place is so confusing. If you need something to ease pain, we can set you up. I was so scared. Tate, he's a realtor. He's been trying to organize something. Where's she gone? Oh, she's there. Stretch. He's a good man. Come here. If we don't get that wheat shipment soon, that is good, good news. Uh, what was the holdup, anyway? The least we could do is give them a good meal. I don't mean to be Oh, that makes sense. Aren't they outside the walls? Wait, you went outside the walls, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Please, don't risk yourself like that. If anyone got hurt working for the low house. I hate to ask it, but this next errand should be safe. Easy. Everything runs on charity. And our benefactors, though kind, I think sometimes... Well, get sick of seeing me. A new face may ease up the purse strings. 
Or at least save me some errands. Uh, it sounds like you have to strike a delicate balance. It's touch and go sometimes. Best are too much, and they could turn their back on the project. Too little, and people suffer. So, the mayor, Elias Cartwright, has always been generous to us, but it's been a while since he's donated. Raisha Lance is a huge benefactor. Laredo Firearms has been vital for us. Both of those are routine. More polite reminders, really. Okay. The last is a long shot, probably futile. But the Trade Authority is incredibly wealthy, and they have never ever donated to us. If you could convince Duncan Lynch to give us anything, heck, a single credit even, I'd consider it a victory. I'll do my best. You are a breath of fresh air. Once you're done with that, come back to me. You take care. I've got a load of speed. There's people to speak to. People to speak to. Mr. Key. Right, let's help some people out. Let's take down some rich people with some money. Me and my gun can be very persuasive. Capacity? Once we hit through those gates, the Asta will start hunting us down pretty fast, so beware. We've been through this, they don't scare me. We killed them, remember? Elias Cartwright. Mr. Marshall. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. Uh, I appreciate that. Thanks. You're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. Um, sure, tell me about the core. The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hussanov Manor, and he's the worst, simply the worst. But it's been a problem since the Hussanov family ran out of heirs. There's no wrong the Cartwrights have been trying to write for decades. And hence, well, I need help. Of course, of course. The last Hossanov was Sahar. Sad tale there. <sighs> By all mm -hmm. accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate. Built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashta overran the farm, and just like that, no more Hossanovs. Oh dear. Uh, it sounds like the poor old Sahar wanted to go out on her own terms. folks thought the same. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, brave the Ashta, and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Akila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, that'll be a bonus. Fair enough. Happy help. You are a blessing. Zahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have. I mean, as long as they're all level fives, I should be okay. And look out for yourself. Yeah, I didn't come to talk to you about that. I'm here to. Like I you. said, be careful. 
What day is it? Oh, shoot. I forgot. I'll send over my usual monthly donation to Amira. She truly is a wonder. And with the building project her and Mr. Tate are planning, there may be a day when the stretch is a distant memory. You're a settler. You were right. It's what sets us apart from the UC. You know our family's been doing well. We can afford to help more. Between thwarting bank robberies and helping the stretch, you have the city's thanks. Truly. No worries. A genuine pleasure talking to you. And you, Mr. Carwright. Who's next? Whoa, that's not the way. Oh, mistakes were made. Mr. Laredo. I need to speak to him anyway. Hey, you Dusty. Want to steer clear of the stretch. Oh, you're thinking to That's yourself. I'm over there. Oh, I think I you'll find really that we carry to fine Barrett's weapons of all kinds voice here. Right now. Then instead of dreaming about me, stop by and say hello, okay? Oh. So Amira has some help? Good. She's going to work herself into an early grave if she's not careful. Laredo Firearms prides itself in helping out all the residents of Aquila City. I'll send Justin over to deliver our monthly donation. Thank you. Well, if the Rangers think the Low House needs more help... I'll tell Amira that Laredo is ready to help the community more. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, what are you selling? Yes, of course. Ooh. The Prime. Holy shit, look at that gun. Laser shot, recon scoop, scope, scope, muzzle brake, penetrator rounds, and high velocity. Wow. So we had to clean up the graffiti on the range again. Why don't we just close it down? So, so far, I've actually managed to convince everyone to do just a little bit extra. Just by being part of the Free Star Collective. Let's see if we can uh, turn the Trade Authority on. Aquila City is bustling. One of the busy... What brings you to the Trade Authority? The Trade Authority has a firm policy of not getting involved in internal matters. We're neutral in all affairs of the governments of the Free Star Collective and the United Colonies. Surely you can spare a little something to help the needy. Helping the stretch could improve the Trade Authority's image. You know that's just a bullshit excuse. People are starving. Or maybe just a single credit. Anything would help. Uh, try that. The Trade Authority's image is doing quite well already. Thank you very much. No, well, it's not, because the guy on... this matter. Ooh. Bastard. You have a great day. That guy on Neon, right? He's not very reputable. He was offering to buy any contraband off.
Right, let's tell Amira what we've done. Yay, we've done it. This gives me more oxygen. Mira, where you at? Hey there. Why? Yo. The Cartwright, don't let Raisha fool you. She built and owns a power. Both Elias and Raisha told me they're increasing their donation. You are something else. No word from the Trade Authority. I'm sorry I even asked. I like to believe everyone is capable of empathy and compassion, but people like Duncan test my faith. I genuinely don't know how you do it every day. Duncan Lynch is an insufferable jerk. I didn't say that, but I'm not going to correct you. Yeah. Sarah Philborn gave me these credits to give to you for your help with the farm. You more than deserve it. Um, you didn't give me any credits, you gave me wheat. And people say I'm too altruistic. I have one more thing for you to do. But I hope it's more of a reward. This is part of the Intelliweed Harvest. I'd like you to deliver it to Simone Jansen and her family. I want you to see the fruits of your labors. Okay. Oh shit! I got the credits. Five grand. Nice. It helps and pays to be a smooth talker. It's tough living here, but you can live on your own terms. Even after all this time, we're Hi, still Simone. living high. Amira said to expect you. Changes. This wheat no ensures my family won't go to bed hungry. I, I genuinely don't know what my family would do without Amira. And uh, you, you have no idea how much it means. Over here in Aquila, it's humbling to see regular people just looking after us. On behalf of my family, of my daughter, bless you. All in a day's work. What? Hey, who's next? Looks like we got another Aggies. Sam warned me about this place once. Don't remember why. Oh well. Over we'll there. figure it out. Tourists? I give him three minutes before the strategy. I think this place is just perpetual nighttime. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for a DP and A and You just spouted a whole load of letters at me that mean nothing. Talk to Mr. Tate. Is that my current? Oh, no, he's back here. Okay. I'm actually starting to feel a bit warm now. More and eat healthier, and I feel like it help Apparently it's 27 degrees outside. Oh. 
Solar Where is that? 37. The building there needs work, but it could make for a very good home. Any paperwork we need to file to clear it out? Is it zoned for commercial use? <laughs> this isn't the UC. As long as you are courteous to the neighbors, do what you like. We're still waiting on the loan from Galbeck. I must warn you, ma'am, that Oak and Aquila are very particular about doing business with the UC. When they see our prices, I'm sure they'll come around. As you say. People may say, buy local, but the bottom line always wins. <laughs> if you are ever looking to buy property, remember me, Mr. Tate. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nice Tate. Nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Tate, and you have the look of a newcomer. Welcome to Aquila City. Thank you. I don't suppose you're in the market for real Been estate. Been here a while. If so, then look no further. Uh, I am a native of the Three Star Collective, not some tourist. Oh, where are my manners? Very sorry. I hope my insensitive assumptions don't turn you away from considering my properties. I have two properties for sale. This one here is a refurbished colonial manor in the heart of the core. I also have a more modest one bedroom in Midtown. Any interest in them? Tell me, uh, what? Nice to meet you. Bye -bye. Wait, before you go, my instinct says you're a person who knows how to work with their hands, or in this case, heavy equipment. I've been known Are to. Are you familiar with mining lasers? Uh, I used to be a miner, so yes. Excellent. There are so many in the stretch, living in terrible conditions. The Low House and I are working together to make cheap, affordable housing. But the land we want to build on has hard stone that needs to be cleared. Gotcha. And it truly is the best cause. Once you clear the land, we'll be one step closer to changing some lives for the better. Why have you given me a cutter? I don't need a cutter. I've got my own cutter. Holy shit, that's a lot of waypoints. Shortcut. Got a moment? Let's catch up. Not right now. Mining. What is this piece of shit? I'm sure my cutter was better. Not much better, but it's a bit better. Private sector. Well, that's where the and it's real red. Mind your eyes. A for real house. Like the ones in the core? It's not going to be a manor house, honey. But four walls, a roof, floor. Can RG move in with us? Mr. Tay, I did the rock thing for you. There's a wall there. Mr. Tate, why are you a tank? Oh, you're down here. Hi. A pleasure to see you again. I don't suppose this time you're here to buy property. No, but I've done the rumble Marvelous. thing for you. One step closer. I can't wait to tell Miss Wolf. I know it's not much, but this is well earned. 3,300 quids. Nice. I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Got me pretty nostalgic and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. Right. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. 
Oh, don't do that. No, I apparently read at least a few of these. I just don't remember. It was a difficult time. I hope it was some comfort. It was surreal, honestly. So, most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. Sounds but boring. One thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. Uh, that sounds like an outdated form of encryption, likely be from before the colony. Precisely. Part. And as a tech person, you also know that style of encryption was prone to error and rarely used outside of academia. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. <sighs> yes. Hearing his voice in so much pain was very difficult. Oh, I wish I had noticed this message when he sent it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. Who is this? Hey. His former employers had some job he took before he died. I think it was a mining company. What was he being framed for? Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. It is, but I was thinking about it and, well, it's still wrong, right? Right. So I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here, see what I can find out. There's got to be a paper trail, right? Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees of rights. Oh, yeah. That works. I'll tell them to go ahead with the investigation. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him. <laughs> Even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? A little bit. I appreciate that. It's going to be hard to get some sleep tonight after all this. But the fact that I'm doing something about it might be enough to help. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Well, anyway, I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. Cool. Right, um... I have actually cleared up. Oh, no, I haven't. Uh. Go to Pol Polvo's orbit. You're the boss. Scientifically speaking, terraforming is a more important design. Wait. Talk with Sam Cove. Oh, we'll fast travel there. I can see it in the distance, but never mind. Back in the lap of luxury right here. Sam? I don't know about you, but a fella could do a lot worse in Constellation. <sighs> Where to begin? That temple? The hell was that? I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other more times than I could count. 
but I've never, and I mean never, encountered something like that. Like, who built it? Why? So many questions. I think that just means you're sane. <laughs> and what you can do? I am not a scientist, not in the least. But that ability, power, it's just plain scientifically impossible. Uh, impossible or not, I can and do there it. There you have it. Well, forget about me. How are you? I mean, whatever happened, it could have deep physiological effects. I hope not mental. And even if everything's perfect, there. Still, I can't imagine what's going through your head. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Same old you. The other constellation members are going to lose their minds once they hear about this. Assuming they even believe us. All right, Sam Coe, spoken to. What can I help you with? Just you. I, I actually quite like Laredo Farms. I, I, uh, firearms. I don't want to frame anyone. Hey, Dad. They helped people. All right, before we go ruin somebody's lives, I'm just going to quickly go make myself a drink. I'll be back in two seconds. Hydration has been acquired. I really don't want to do this mission. You have a nice day now. You too. Mr. Wright's going to be looking for an apprentice soon. Aquila's one of the oldest cities in the settled systems. 
You see, can't be that bad, can it? You lost. I don't want to get caught doing this. It. Nobody saw nothing. That one doesn't go to the next level, so... Nor does that one. That one does. Okay, so that will be the next one. How you doing lots? How was work? Nailed it! <coughs> I hate myself for doing that. Very hot outside. I was just saying, oh, when I started the stream, it was nice and, nice and cool in here. Um, it's actually starting to feel really warm. And I just looked at my phone and it's 28 degrees outside. So yeah, I won't be going outside. Although today would have been a great day to put laundry up. Mental says hi. Right, let's go to this farm. How was the tube on the way in? I guess I think it's going to be worse on the way home. Now I'm back to work on Thursday. It's um tomorrow or not. Ah, doggy. Alright, um, I need the waypoint for this. Um... I don't think they'd have figured out how to get inside, so... Yeah. Uh, it will be nasty on the way home. I'll get the central line from Bank Auto Station on the line. Ugh. Yeah, 
You're finishing at four. Right, so we've got the will. Gravity is so high here. We're going to have to work harder to get anything done. It seems like a pointless door. Why would you have the, the, the ooh. All right. Well, no, I'm going out this way. Come on. Whoa. I wasn't expecting the ship to be here. Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that grab tech cheating? I, um... Didn't actually need to get on the ship. Also, don't need me gun out at the moment. Why have I got two? Oh, to Frank Langston first. Okay. Which waypoint is Frank Langston? Audi. Audi. Ashtar sometimes spotted by the farms. That's why we only use robots outside the wall. We're all far too scared of the Ashtars. They're really not that bad. Very easy to kill. Right, there's someone here to talk to. Is this Frank? Yes, it is. Why are you just following this random woman down the stairs? Wait, wait, where's Frank? <laughs> so you sold three pickups today? Yeah, and might get some more on the back end. <laughs> Your casserole sealed the deal. Uh, don't you need to wait for the contract to be signed? <laughs> This ain't the UC. We shook hands and the deal's done. This ain't the UC. Should have the contract signed tomorrow. My cousin works for Deimos, and he says the approval process for a big deal can take months. That's life under the boot for you. Business keeps going this good, and it'll make dealing with these pretentious core jerks worth it. Don't bother complaining because I bought a house in the core. I really don't give a damn what you people think. Aquila City is lucky that Hope Tech still deals with them after the reception I've gotten. I come here. I don't work for Hope Tech. Business, employment opportunities, and they practically spit in my face. That's right on the money there. So Ron Hope assigns me to Aquila City, and I'm excited, right? Could be a plum assignment. But I need a place to sleep here. So I bought some prime real estate for me and my girl. That's prime real estate. God damn it, you'd think I plowed through a sacred burial site. Listen, I'm not the one selling some priceless historical manor. That's not on me. Well, the, I, I, the, the previous owners clearly are the ones to blame. And don't forget the damned realtor. Thanks for hearing me out. 
Hope you have a better day than I've had. Um, I found the last will and testament of Sahar Hasanov. Oh, the who? Wait, wait. Hasanov? You mean the family that owned this manor? Oh, hell. Elias Cartwright. That man's always had it out for me. My credits are as good as anyone else around here. I got a business proposition. 10,000 credits, and I take that alleged will off your hands. No questions asked. Uh, what? Ooh. Um, okay. That's interesting. Hang on a sec. Genuine. Hang Glad on a sec. Talking with you. Let me just quick save in case this goes wrong. I don't suppose you still have you reconsidered my offer? 10,000 credits if you just hand it over and forget about it. I like money chats. You're a smart one. If you can just tell Elias or whoever that you didn't find anything, I'd be very thankful. Ten grand! And that didn't upset anyone either. You've done me a good turn. I won't forget. Anything I can help you with, Captain? Okay. Nope, just making sure you weren't going to tell me off for taking 10 grand for that. I'll take Aggies over the rock any day. Okay, you Who do that. Who wants to get drunk when there's range? Hey, I heard you had Dunlop's disease. Huh. Was that where you turned into a tire? Cartwright. My granddad was still with us. What happened to the Hassanovs never sat right with him. Old Sahar was so sad near the end. But her lawyer would have surely made her draft a will. Ah, hell. Pardon the language. <laughs> I knew it was a long shot. Well, you risked your neck and I couldn't let you go away empty-handed. Thank you. Fifteen and a half grand we earned out of that. For shooting a couple of dogs. <laughs> I love this game. Right. What other silly little things have we got? Collect the bounty on the pirate rover at the abandoned mine. I guess we could do just a little bit of main story. I'm interested to see where this goes. Fast travel to the lodge. I love breathing in the air here. You'd imagine it would smell like any other city, but it smells tranquil. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like the air carries a dash of herbal tea with it. Uh, okay, Barrett, sure. This place is a delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. Oh, hi, Vasco. Your safe return to the lodge will please the other members of Constellation. You reconsider my offer? Ready to set off? Yes, indeed. Let's go. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. 
You want to so go back to Neon then? You don't think I can do it? Where's Mr. Shroud? Ah, that's bright. Wait, this is neon. I thought neon was always dark. Nah. Smell that? Construction. Incense. Industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. Some bass? A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. People are getting high off of fish? Something to do with chasm bass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. Oh, I've got some of that. We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Let's go to Stroud Eklund HQ then. Quite why I had to come all the way out here. I don't know. Sorry, Barrett. I'm in a rush. Right. There's HQ. Let's go. Corp? She's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of too... Ah, it's a stupid building with windows instead of doors. Get lost. I have a job to do. Wow, rude. The star yard of the future. This is where quality ships are made. And I don't just say that it's because Stroud. it's Stroud's business. It's in. just true. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Thank you. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it? is a mistake no i'm here about wait a minute a mistake our ship designers are the best in the settled systems they design personal craft and military ships walter large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast oh i'm so sorry here i am arguing with my partner <laughs> and you're just standing right here yeah, here I am. Lisa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Charmed. 
Oh, aren't you lovely? Yes. Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Anyway. I am 100% behind embarrassing Baltimore. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only uh -oh. after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? I also send my love with freelance operatives. <laughs> oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now I must point out the obvious. The Astro Lounge. Huh? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so I'm off to do all the work while you two stay here. I hate being selfish. But I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Okay. So you're holding a meeting in a club that's in the same building as your headquarters. Okay then. Oh yeah. What's up? That's an outfit. Hey, you want to dance? No, I don't. Wow, that's bright. All right, I'm going to leave you guys to that.
So, what'll it be today? Hi, Boone. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Um, ahem. I have definitely not here about and the what Aurora. what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but... Did I accidentally say I'm here for the Aurora? Really price on pleasure? Oh, I have a meeting here later. Worried about security. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. Say I needed security to be on my side if a fight broke out. Say I needed control of the doors to prevent someone from walking out. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state of the art. Uh, what about security on my side? Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. I would... Hmm. That fee seems a little high. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Uh, surely a business like Stroud Eklund already has VIP status. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Perhaps something could be arranged. That would be great. Oh, do you reckon we can get away with this? Mr. Stroud yep. okay. is coming to the Astral Lounge. <laughs> now that is interesting. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you. If you were still interested. That's more like it. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Yep, bye. Enjoy the lounge. Hey. Hi. Mickey Caviar. Uh, right, yeah. let's inspect the doors. Wait, no. Oh, VIP balcony. Yes. This is not going to be our room. Enjoying the music at the lounge. I am. Yeah, sorry, I don't do autographs. Um. Uh, I uh, I, I could pay. Maybe credits are your thing. They aren't mine. Honestly, I'm kind of getting sick of everyone assuming I'm modding for the cash. I do it for the music. Follow. Follow. Hey. I love my fans. I just don't like when they take things too far, you know? Our music yep. slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing, and someone ripped me off. Total drag. Total drag? Um, I could probably help you find it. Oh, man. Wow. Because I need more so side cool. quests. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. If it keeps the music flowing, then it'll be worth the effort. Exactly. So, anything you can do to help is appreciated. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. <laughs> anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? Okay. Hmm. Well... Most of the people who come through here are fans, and they're either zoned or just digging the rhythms. That leaves collectors, competitors, 
Or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything. It doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time. Bad vibes and long knives. See you on the flip. See you on the flip. Ooh. Okay, so we didn't mean to go through that door, but that was interesting. Let's try this door. If you're wondering what that smell is, it's neon. Uh, okay. I haven't got any digi picks. Ah. I presume Mr. there's Bow. a reason that you're disturbing me. I'm not. I'm off. Bye. I need to find some digi picks. I have to go to a trade thing. As I recall, there is one. Ah, shins. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is ever Galbank ATMs are spread throughout the settled system. You visit the rarefied air above the scum and Think you've got what it takes to tackle the business world. Make yourself a mega megastar. Uh, where was it? Trade Authority. There it is. Oh, man, are you going to be move some merch. light this time? Because you were an ass before. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, resources. D for did Nope. Is it under misc? Did you pick three? It's okay. Oh, it's it's the left slipper I sold him. If you uh, find anything else, make sure you bring it to me. Okay, let's go try and hack this computer now. The gangs can keep from killing Don't you have something better to do? No. I'm getting better at this. This room has been booked by Redacted. Ah. It's me. Approved hand signal will allow use to lock VIP one time. Okay. So I can now lock the door.
Won't do that now, obviously. Right, let's get this meeting underway. Oh, I need to look into the bio next. is the buyer Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized sorry the we setup had a good uh, laugh about it back at the station <laughs> I don't want to speak to speak to Frank Renwick at the moment seriously every time I walk past somebody it gives me another side quest Hey, hey there. James. Welcome to Newell's. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Well, normally I wouldn't go in for that sort of thing, but Sieghart's given me no choice. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. Absolutely none. merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Oh? A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Sounds cool. And how do you keep your place safe? By standing up for the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Do you think this guy looks a little bit like Todd Howard? Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. Hey, that's fine. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Let's say you did. Information isn't usually free. Mm. You already got paid for connecting the seller to Walter. We're not paying twice. New intel, new transaction. Take it or leave it. Uh, don't doubt my questions. I know the seller came through you. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. I'm asking on behalf of Walter Stroud. I'm sure he can pay you. I guess maybe I can add this to his tab. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. Very, very helpful. Thank you. Now, um... Chase more... You like making a purchase? Let me know if we can make a deal. What are you selling? All of these spacesuits are junk. Ooh, that's pretty. I kind of like this, but it's stats of shit.
Corpo boardroom suit. The, the executive suit's quite good. That's no good. That's just a hat. Uh, I kind of like the way this one looks. Gives me no thermal resistance though. Um, oh, have you got any digipics? Only one. Okay. I still need to find out what ammo that gun that I've got takes. Thanks for stopping by our shop. Right, let's go see. Oh, the cellar. This place over New Atlantis any day. Excuse me, excuse me, thank you. It's still remarkable to me that we started on another planet. <laughs> Who's detecting me? Stop detecting me. I don't think I've got enough digi picks to do this one. God damn. Right, I've got no digipics left now. get this. Hey, I took that photo. This one's impossible. I don't have enough digipics to do this. I need to figure out how to craft them. Ah, 
fuck? Arr. Right, that one can unlock that one, but not the one underneath. That one can unlock the this one and the one underneath. So can... No, this one can't unlock... Uh, oh, yes, it can. Uh. Hey, got it. You're done. Impressive. Thank you. Please don't let this be locked as well. Food <laughs> Musgrove. You must not be aware, but there's a certain item that your employer has that others have taken an interest in. Now, I know you're genuine, you're gainfully employed, but what's the harm in a little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you. Friend. Who Musgrove. I'm not joking, friend. Except that termination notice, expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. Per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come for you. Predator powers. Oh, it's the space helmet that I've got on. Uh, the sensor chip shockproof. Um, where is it? Chameleon, blend with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Fourteen ninety. Three characters of fourteen ninety. Jesus, dude. Go outside. Okay. Um, what happened then? I can't remember. What do we learn? Too bad I can't squeeze any aurora from these fish. What's the aeromancer like? I haven't used it yet. Madame Sauvage always gives me help. Cowbank ATMs are spread throughout the settled systems, so you can do your banking. I finally saved up enough. I'm going to have to look, have a look and see what we've got in the freezer for dinner because I am not going out to the shops tonight. Hey guys. Something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. <laughs> I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. Oh, only occasional. So, you don't need anything from me then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. I do need I to try it soon. thinking of you. 
wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. All right, are you two finished? Is everything ready? I found that the cellar is pretty desperate. Should give us an Excellent. edge. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Hold up, Walt. Right, let's take Gramps to the club. Where is Gramps? Is he already in there? I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. Okay. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Ramsey and Travers, got it. Are they? <laughs> I was really hoping for a message written in invisible ink, but this will have to suffice. I think Remember, you might spot it under all of the Ramsey UV lights. Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Okay. Big security case. Not him. Hi. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Anybody at the bar? Welcome to the Astro Hi, Boone. Lounge. Okay. Hello. Mickey Caviar, are you still here? Anyone in the bathroom? I just need a minute. I think that last this drink was stronger than stuff? I thought. It's blowing my That's mind. what you said two drinks ago. Maybe you should slow down. Yeah, probably. What's up? That's a little small. Said it would be a big security case. Oh, and he just put it away. Okay. No one over here. Oh, that's better. I can see now. I look like a total knock, don't I? Let's turn the torch off. That's an average size case. I don't see anyone with a big security case. Live it up. Hey, enjoy yourself. I am. You too. Yeah. 
Hey birds, thank you very much for the raid. Ah, too many caps. Where? Where is he? How is your stream? What were you playing? Mentor, if you're there, could I get a shout out, please? Stream's going good. I'm looking for somebody with a big case. What a great night! Oh, you're on Starfield as well. Excellent. Enjoying it? Hell yeah! This is awesome! Okay. Alright, I'm starting to think maybe they're not down here. Let's try upstairs. Security's got his eyes on Saburo Okadigbo. That guy's trouble for the status quo, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean, but sure. Uh, oh, that one's locked. Can't get in there. How are you playing? Are you plowing through the main story or are you just doing sides? I think this is the longest that I've spent on any of the main quest. Right, I don't think it's anyone up here. Yeah, I want to get back out and do a little bit more exploration. Right, they're definitely not up here. They've got a case, you. No, I want to find somebody who's got a big case. This Aurora stuff is blowing my mind. The music is amazing. What about you? may be amazing but it's really loud let's just turn it down a sec where where are they All right, did you just boost up there? I'm looking for someone holding a big case. You good? I'm good. You good? There's nobody in here. Oh, poor bot. Alright, any suggestions? Hey, you wanna dance? Hell yeah! This is awesome! Yeah. Right, I have searched the entire club. I cannot find anyone. Let me just read the brief again. The 
The seller will have a large security briefcase and will respond to the code phrase Ram Rams uh, Ramsey and Travers. Suppose I could Hi. wait at the bar. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. Hey Boone. We have plenty of Aurora on hand for your enjoyment. I don't want any of oh bye Boone. Come back soon. Okay. Uh let's wait for two hours. What about sitting up here? I can't believe water's still here. Alright, you're blocking my view. Nope, still looking for the man with the big case. Alright, either give me a dance or move. I, I, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> hey there! Hey! Oh, you can clear your own bounties. Right, let's just stand up here and just watch everyone as they come in. Hi. I can't hear myself, babe. I know how you feel. Huh? You have to speak up. <laughs> Hi. Hell of a party. Hey, enjoy yourself. Can you believe this place? Yeah, okay, it wasn't him. Oh, man. Are you sitting with a big case? No. Howdy. Howdy. This Aurora stuff is blowing my mind. Is that a big case? A bit repetitive. <laughs> okay, I can't Assassin's Creed this, that's fine. Wow, you all look so high. Mate. You good? <laughs> I think you've had a bit too much. Ace. Great night. 
Wait. Hey there. Hey. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Any vacancies on your crew? Uh, n not really. No. Hey, it's your loss. Can I get you something to drink? I'm sorry. I I just don't have the space at the moment. Boone, have you got a big case back there? No. Say, kid, how'd you like to hitch your wagon to a celebrity star? Mickey Caviar, I That's presume. Right. The Mickey Caviar is in the market for a job, and you look like someone who could use a great ship's cook. What do you say? I do need a ship's cook. I can't afford anyone at the moment. I deserve better anyway. Damn. Okay, I was going to come back for you, but fuck you. Hey there. Big case. That was not the voice I was expecting to come out of that face. Ah, huh? you have to speak up. What's up? <laughs> hey there. The music's so good. Hi, right. having fun? Check the toilets again. No. I'm going to look it up. I have to talk to a man called Musgrove. Hell yeah! This is That's awesome. a woman. The music is amazing. Welcome to the Astro Lounge. Thank you. Is there anyone at the bar called Musgrove? Yeah. Yes. Feel like getting zoned? I got what you need. Who just leaves shrimp on the bar? Oh no, it's not. Pardon. Look, it's a man with a really big case called Musgrove. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? You don't appear to have a drink in your hand. Oh really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. How did I miss him? Excuse me. It was that bloody Mickey Caviar. Distracted me. Get, get out my way. Get, get out my way. Uh, Walter, where have you gone? Guys, has anyone seen an old man? He was there. Has he gone upstairs?
I don't remember James where our booth is. Why am I not tracking the mission? He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neon. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now, how am I supposed to do that? Mm. I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Stop bluffing, we know you need to sell quickly. Oh, really? And how do you know that? I broke Who into talks? your house. Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. Don't be rash. I'm not hearing here's the money. I'm on a tight timetable. And we would have wrapped up already if you hadn't gotten greedy. Our original offer stands. Now what's it going to be? Uh, I... Do the smart thing. All right. You win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Thank you. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Yes. All right, can I fast travel to... Actually, I can just fast travel back to... Oh, wait, do I need to... Head to the entrance. Ah, uh, okay, something's about to kick off. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Um. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. No shit. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending armed men into the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. Well, he's not going to get it from me. Plan it quickly. Got my fast travel now. No! Oh, this is going to end in a bloodbath. Asa. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. That's inconvenient. There goes our way out. How do they know it was us? The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. We need him off our backs. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. 
Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Sure, okay. Uh, a little one. It's fine. I can deal with it. Hi. I'm here to see Nicholas Slayton. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. I'm sure he is. No, he isn't. I'm sure you do. We weren't expecting a VIP to come through today. Aha. Let me just run a few checks. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, you do that. I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Much obliged. Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting here all day. It's ridiculous. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter! Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. I'm not breaking in. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Okay. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. <laughs> the door will open in three, two, one. Hey, Captain. Can I talk with you for a bit? Not right now. Oh, be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. I don't see any fork on the floor. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. The room below you is clear. Drop down. Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Head left. But don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now. Straight across to the door. Hi, Barrett. Keep going all the way to the end. Let's help if I open the hatch first.
Whoa! Not down there. Or is it down here? Almost there. Draw on the right. There's the door. It should take you outside. Outside? You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. Thank you. I guess. Oh boy. Chat, have I ever told you how bad I am at platforming? It's security out here. Sorry. Well, they don't need it now. No, they do not. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Seriously, Barrett? Um, how am I supposed to? Wow, that's mean. How am I supposed to get up there? Shins. How am I supposed to climb up there? with the first shot. Oh, I just shot him in the arse while he was hanging off a building. Hey, I'm waiting here. Uh, shut up, Ara. Yeah, this hunter can't. No, you don't. Head pack, yay. Oh, let me try out one of my little powers. Which one is it? Did it work or is there just no other humans? Oh, there's no other humans. Okay. Take a break. Let's chat. Oh God, there's many humans. the elevator or what? Well, I could just shoot him from here.
I don't think I should have started this fight. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a turret in here. But I am. Devil turrets. I'm thinking maybe this wasn't the best course of action. Grav anti gravity field. Last one of them, you make. Give me some cover. Ah, reloading. It's really? Wow, that was fucking cool. Don't oh, shoot the customers. Where's Walter and Barrett? has run into some trouble. Word to the wise, you don't want a piece of that. Now is the time to enhance your life. Oh, you made it out, guys. Can we get off this planet now? Be here when you're ready. I was not expecting to get into a fight like that today. Oh look, and my ship is now no longer impounded. something for you shut up Barrett. hey what's going on your ship we is just way got shot to shit that's what's going on cold-blooded murder was a line i told myself i'd never cross do you really think we did the right thing back there there was no other way i can't argue with that just used to cost so, being measured Miss Stay in up money. late reading Remember under the covers. Did you learn Walter, anything new from the book last night? <laughs> if money was <laughs> Don't always pretend the to be mad at me. I know you aren't me. really. I learned well, that I back on Earth. Nobody you likes that. Use the stars to navigate. Ah, oh, shut up. That's so cool. Okay, we're gonna try doing it a different way then.
probably shouldn't have killed him, to be honest. I thought she was going to bring the elevator down as well. Alright, let me see if we can talk our way out of it. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Call off the guard, Slayton, and release my you ship. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. It's we not yours. I bought it. Stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. You and Walter are business people. A marine arrangement can be made. I do admit... Having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes, I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. What humiliation? Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. <laughs> Clearly he wa you want him dead. Let the authorities deal with him. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then we will handle the rest. Well, so be it. He knew the risk. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. Hey, no sense stranger. in more violence. Let's chat <laughs> sometime. have an opportunity okay. to spare a man's life. I know he right. probably wouldn't do the same for us. Oh, hi. You look a bit... messy. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You're damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Where's the money, Musgrove? Slayton took it all. Probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that nonsense. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Everyone steals, but you got caught. You're going to jail. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. It's not like you were working to make anything better for anyone other than yourself. But this would be a good thing to reflect on in your newfound copious free time. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Thank you. Dusty. Let's talk. Dusty. Let's talk. All right. I mean, this is just sitting here. It's not locked. 
It doesn't look like anything is red. So I can just take it all. I guess I should be grateful you didn't put me on ice. Yes, you should be. Okay, let's get the fuck out. This is a bathroom. Ooh, med packs. Oh no, okay, so that's stealing. Is this stealing? Yes. Contraband. I haven't got any digi picks though. Okay, we're leaving now. Bye bye. I'm glad I didn't kill you all this time. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Oh, he's done with me now, is he? I think that was a much better outcome than, you know, killing everyone. Right. Oh, I still can't fast travel. Catherine Luzian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Why did you make me come out here? I'm sure the waypoint pointed here. Oh, no it doesn't. I was being stupid. Um, you okay, hun? Okay, sounds good. Space fort. Right, let's get on the ship and get the fuck out of here. I'm sure my O2 goes down quicker now. It shouldn't do. It should have 20% extra. I have something for you. Ara, not now. Please. Hey, hey Hella. need something? Now you Hey. If you have time, I've Hester, been thinking about some things. You Wanted think to talk I'm to a pest? About... Oh, never. Poor choice of words. You being nice to the crew, too? Of course. So this book collection fund I heard about? Don't okay, can we skip this, please? Say, don't listen to rumors. You and your wife are cute together. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Some people call Issa a jewel, but she's more than that to me. I can't really describe it. There's a me, and a her, and an us. And I wouldn't trade the us for all the credits in Neon. Sounds like we discovered the mountain that she moved. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive <laughs> me. Oh, we got 10 grand for that as well. Ooh. Exploring the galaxy is hard work. Right. Trust. I know what's out there. Stop by sometime. Let's talk. Just us adventurers. Okay? All right. I will when I'm ready. Orbital insertion achieved. We're spacebound again. You hold something you have no right to. My people have killed for less, but I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. 
Not a chance. That's not any type of ship I recognize. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Mm -hmm. Unworthy? Get right out of here with that nonsense. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. Interesting. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. I don't believe that to be true. Could just knowing what you are be dangerous. Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Let's get out of here. Hold on. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Nera, not now. I know now isn't the best time. I need to talk with you later. No, you don't. And this is not the best time. Grab Jack. Like the United Colony. I've never heard of these. Maintain current Stop. course while we scan for contraband. The speculation part of my brain is an overdrive. All right. Regroup. Right, land at the lodge. <laughs> I forgot I did that. <laughs> Poor guy. I talk with you for a bit. All right, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna kill you. How is Neon? Are you? Oh, it was are lovely. You okay. It's brilliant. Okay, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that, is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we. What the? Yep. Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or crimson fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no nope. United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life yep. or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. I mean, they aren't. No settled at all. systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that ship either. 
So we got some weird extra dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. Not so sure about that. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. There's something I'd like to discuss. All right, let's toss it on the pile. Ready? One, two, three. Yeek. Hey, stranger. Let's chat sometime, okay? All right. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Hey, good to see you. And you, Sam. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining me today. That's where I'm going to finish it off. Um, I said I wasn't going to be streaming tomorrow. I may actually end up depending on how early I wake up and what shit I get done. Um, keep an eye on the Discord. I will, um, I will have a message on there when I'm going live. Um, whatever you get up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's a good one. Lance, enjoy the rest of your shift. Mental, I hope you get some sleep. Uh, Jaybird, thank you very much for the raid. Guys, whatever you get up to, I hope it's a good one. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you tomorrow.